This video will now take a look at the anatomy of the large and small intestines and major structures. Here first starting at the top there is the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. It's about 10 inches long going under there winding around. Next is the jejunum. It varies to be about 8 feet long in all of us winding back and forth there held together by the mesentery. The last part of the small intestine is the ileum about 12 feet long emptying right there into the beginning of the large intestine. Where that empties in the large intestine is a valve called the ileocecal valve, not too effective valve but it does function. Next is the cecum, the first part of the large intestine, that zone right there I'm circling that's opened up. Here's the appendix or called vermiform appendix, worm shaped, that projects off of the cecum. Next is the ascending colon going from the opening of the cecum there upward right there to that bend called the flexure. Next the transverse colon going across. In a previous video that was gone, now it's back in place. And then the next part, the sequencing of the large intestine would be the descending colon starting at the flexure of the top and ending right about there at the curve because at that curve starts the sigmoid colon or the S-shaped colon it goes back and away and then down up here emptying in that opening right there where the constriction's at in that opening would start the rectum. Here's the rectum or the last part of the large intestine and then at the end around the anus there is that external anal sphincter muscle. There's an internal that doesn't show up too well in this model but that's the external anal sphincter and the anus here, the opening coming out of the rectum, encircled by the external anal sphincter muscle. This will now end the video on the small intestine and large intestines and their individual anatomies.